Okay, today we have a Canon PowerShot SD3500IS Digital Elf. Notice I took the lanyard strap off. Uh, other than that, I haven't really done anything to prep this camera. Um, the problem we are taking care of today is a damaged LCD. The first thing to do, of course, take the battery out. The part that I'm installing is used, so it does have some scratches, but it is functionally uh, adequate. It doesn't have a perfect image, but at least it's not shattered. I'm going to start by taking out a couple of screws that are underneath the HDMI and AV out digital covers, one under each. I'm using a Phillips size 00. zero. And as always, put the screws in a pattern that matches where they came from on the camera so that you know where to put them back. There aren't any screws underneath the battery bay. Two on the bottom and two on each side. So with all the screws out, we can begin pulling the back off. And you just kind of separate it along the edges. And the front and the back both come off, and I don't remember offhand if the uh, front is going to try to jump off on this one or not. but you don't want to actually remove the front until after you've taken the back off because there are uh, some further things you need to detach before you take the front off. And you could use a spudger for this. I'm using my fingernails. There isn't anything especially fragile right underneath where the seam is. There is a thin bead of adhesive all the way around the LCD, but it's not anything significant. Okay, and there's the back bezel. Next thing we're going to do is remove a screw from this small plate. This is what retains the LCD in its place. So I'm going to lay this a bit higher. This plate just lifts off. When you're holding the camera right side up, the shorter side of the plate goes up. Next step is to remove the plastic cover on the end. Now the lanyard loop sticks through this plastic cover, which is why I said we needed to remove the lanyard strap before we got started. Just pop it up at the top and it kind of leans its way out. So lay that to the side. The next step is to remove the front now. And you can see that plastic piece there kind of catches into the front and that's why we need to remove it before we remove the front. The front should more or less lift off like that. So now we have our LCD right here. The three flex connectors that uh, go to the LCD are all right here. They feed through the top portion of the camera. As long as we've taken this panel off, the LCD basically will tip forward, but the flexes are very short. So in order to actually swing it loose, we have to lift it up just slightly and then hinge it around like that. 
But before we even worry about doing that, we can get the three flex cables removed. They're pretty straightforward. Got this black tab, we just flip up at the opposite side from where the ribbon goes in. This wide one, it's a little harder, but none of them are especially difficult. Then the three flex cables, we just have to reach underneath and lift them up. Then we swing our LCD out and gently tug on the ribbons to get them loose. And there's our old defective LCD out. Now to put our new LCD in, we just need to lay it more or less where it belongs and feed the flex cables through the same holes the old were in. So in lieu of struggling with this further, I'm gonna go ahead and take the top plastic framework with the buttons in it off. Prefer not to do that if not necessary, but sometimes things don't go as planned. And there are two catches on the back. for this bracket that hold it all down. So we lift that off. And that at least reduces the number of things catching these flex cables. Now that's got all three of those flex cables through there. We can lay the LCD down where it belongs. Go ahead and place the top button assembly back in place. Basically just lays down. Then we have the metal clip that runs through it. and gives us a place to put the screw back into the top of the camera. So then we'll go ahead and reconnect the flex cables into their sockets. Be sure that the black plastic tabs are still flipped up. Then we want to lay the flexes into the channel and push them in with the small pin hole that they put in the back of the flex. When you can't see any of the shiny contacts, you know that these are in all the way. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the bracket on the left side of the LCD just to hold it in place while I put the front back on the camera.
Then we've got the plastic bracket on this side. Then the rear bezel. And we will pop the battery back in, and we are finished. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you.